Are you listening? Damn. Welcome to session four of the next level challenge. Are you a player, parent, or coach that struggles with the challenges in your football? Are you that person that when things get tough, you bail, you take the easy way out, you find the excuses? If that is you, this video is for you. Let's go. So when I was, was, was 16, 17, and some of you have heard this before. When I was 16, 17, and I was playing for, for my old club back in uh, Athlone, all right? I was uh, a 16-year-old boy. I had, I, I had dreams of you know, being, being a pro footballer. And at that time, you know, I had to choose which, which team, you know, I wanted to join. So at that point, Hellenic, uh, Cape Town Spurs, and uh, Santos at that time were having, having trials. So obviously as a 16-year-old boy, I was excited to go and attend. So these three trials all took place within, within a month, you know. So it was, was a very short space of time to have three opportunities to actually join an academy. Now back then, which was the, which was the late, you know, uh, uh, 90s, 99, 98, right? Um, youth football was on a very high level. You know, academy football was on a very high level. So if you joined Hellenic, Santos, or um, Spurs at the time, you were one of the best players in, in town. So um, I went to the first trial, failed. I went to the second trial, failed. I went to the third trial, failed. Disruption always follows intention. So why I'm sharing this? Because Naturally, my intention for wanting to go to these trials was to become a professional football player. But yes, it, it does not matter how good our intentions are. Disruption, it is a law of nature, always follows intention. Now note, you know, I didn't say you know, you know, interruption, I said disruption. Now here's the difference between interruption and disruption. When somebody you know, interrupts you while you are walking, perhaps, so you're walking on the way and somebody you know, interrupts you. You can always just sidestep and just walk on, right? But when somebody disrupts you, they completely throw you off your complete path. Now you have to adjust how you thought about this and what action you take you know, as a result from that, okay? So I want to keep it in your, in your, in your mind, guys. D disruption always follows intention. Fast forward about 30 plus years now to about, about 48 hours ago. There was a guest that had to be here this evening, right? Unfortunately, he could not attend for whatever reason, okay? I had a choice because disruption always follows intention. There are certain things that you cannot avoid, right? Unfortunately, he could not attend. I could not avoid it. I had a choice to make. Do I let that you know, disrupt me, throw me off this path completely? Or do I choose how to frame that? Yeah. Now, how do you deal with disruption in your football? How do you deal as a player, as a parent, or as a coach? How do you deal with a failed and trial, a injury? Because that, that is not a, 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 a you know, slight you know, interruption. That is a disruption. That completely throws you off what you thought this journey would be like. Yeah. Because very often when we come, you know, into this industry as a player, as a parent, or as a coach, we think of all the good things that can happen, right? I mean, it's, it's just it's just how we are as people. We we always thought to see the you know upside, you know, the bright side. But it's, you also need to understand what the reality of this industry is. There will be disruption because outside of football is life. And as I just explained earlier on, a law of nature is disruption always follows intention. So how can you deal? with that in your football. I'll show you how, okay? So just allow me to bring this board in here quickly. Talking to all football players, I know that I know that I know that you know that you can provide much higher quality in your football, right? What well, if there's a way to increase that by 5x? I've helped football players, both amateur and professional football, especially in South Africa, increase their value by 5x. How do you get them started? You simply click on the link below and let's get you going towards your next level, yeah? And now, enjoy the rest of the video, guys. Mm -hmm. Then we can... So, we are, we are speaking about how you can deal, all right? How you can deal with whatever obstacle has been thrown in your path. It can be yeah, a football player. It can be as a coach. It can be as a parent. Yeah? You were in, in this industry, in this life, you will face obstacles, right? So that fact, you cannot... You cannot change. 
Guys, laws and principles yeah, of nature are infallible. You cannot change them. So stop trying to change them. But what can you change? Okay? So, can, can everybody see this? You can see? Fact, right? So, fact is, you cannot change the law that disruption follows intention. But what you can change is the frame that you put uh, around that fact. Yes, no? And that frame is the thought that you apply to this fact. So, example, at the age of 16, 17, I failed three trials. That's a fact. I couldn't change it. I failed it. But what I could control was what frame I put around it. Now, there's two frames that you can attach um, to this fact. But when you choose one, you're guaranteed to go down a path. So, I will explain to you now, okay? So, the first the first uh, frame that I will highlight to you is if you if you assign a negative you know a focus to that fact. So the fact that this evening's guest you know couldn't attend. So I maybe could, could have could have assigned you know a negative and focus into that. What will happen you know as a result you know negativity um, creates doubt. And doubt, guys, by the way, is a belief. Yeah? That creates doubt. Doubt creates hesitation in your thoughts and what you think you need to do. Now, look, it all started with the fact that you frame the fact with a negative focus. Now, I'm explaining this to you because we do this whether we like it or not. As people, as football players, parents, as a coach, you do this whether you like it or not. Because every fact, whether it's in football, whether it's in life, you, you can choose one of two. A negative a focus, or I will explain now a positive one. Okay, so when you assign a negative focus to this fact, which you cannot change, explain, the feeling or the belief you then create is doubt. And doubt gives you a feeling of hesitation. Hesitation gives you lack of power. So it was this empowers you, so no power. All right? Sorry. Uh, handwriting, no power. Yeah? And what this does is, when you don't have power to do anything, you don't have, you don't have energy to do anything. What then happens very often, there is a lack of action. Yeah? Okay? So, the fact framed, you know, negatively creates the belief of doubt, creates hesitation. You are now hesitant with your thoughts, with your actions. What do I do next? I don't feel like doing any, any, anything. That gives you no power to want to do anything. Right? You don't have the, the, the energy to want to do stuff. Because of that, there is lack of action. Now, if this has got to do with your football, now you understand why when you fail a trial, or when your team loses perhaps, or when you're injured, why you take perhaps longer than it should take to get back to where you want to. Because you've allowed yourself to go down this path. Yes? But there is a flip side too. Everything. Hey, Nathan here. So moms, dads, and families of sportsmen, football players, do you want to help your son or daughter enjoy their career in their sport, in their football? The next level challenge for parents is designed for you to get the most out of yourself, growing, learning, improving your understanding of this game, and more importantly, of your child's journey. To get started, simply click on the link below in the description and let's get you growing towards your next level. Because the more you know, the more you can help your kids grow. Okay, and now enjoy the rest of the video and have an awesome day further. Cheers, guys. Everything. If you assign a positive uh, focus to the fact that you failed a trial or you injured or your team never won, yeah, what it is is the belief that that creates is faith. And we all know faith, right? But there's, there's faith which we, which we just think is a faith which we all should have, and then, then, then there's now faith. And now faith, you know, speaks about faith that you need to take action on now. When you don't know what the outcome will be, when you are starting out on a journey, and you're not sure if I join this team, will things happen for me? If I go to a physio and, and I got nine months left, if I just go every single day, will I speed up that you know healing process? Now faith is 
It's about you not knowing what lies at the other end of your thought or your action. Okay? So, positive frame around the fact creates now faith. Right? This now faith creates anticipation. Now, like in football, for the footballers and the uh, coaches, this is, this is a weapon in football. Isn't it? Because football is about what? Anticipation. So, it creates now faith, builds anticipation. And what anticipation does, it gives you power. Yeah? It gives you energy. Yes? Yeah? And then, because you got the power and energy, you are able to take action. Okay? So, obviously, if you want to succeed, and by the way, guys, this, this applies to my life as well. Because many times you have heard it on TV by a, a, a coach that sports and football is what? Uh, a microcosm of society. Yeah? So these, these laws and these principles applies to life as well. But this can help you in your football. If you understand that the, the starting point is the key, then you won't wait until you're halfway down this road here and then figure, oh, maybe I should have framed the fact with a positive, you know, focus. And that's hard, right? It's, it's hard. It's hard. But it's doable. Why? Because you have a choice. You have a choice. Yeah. The greatest gift that, that you know, God has given to each of us is the power of choice. Because if he didn't give it to us, you would have made each of us the way he wanted to, to think how he wants, to do what we want, yeah, everything. Yes? So you have the power to choose how you frame the fact. Now note, you don't have the power to change the fact. The fact is the fact. But you have the power to, you know, frame it. That's why I, I ask the question, are you struggling with some challenges? Because it's not so much the, you know, the challenge that you are struggling with. It's the mentality that you have when the challenge comes that you are struggling with. Because disruption always follows intention. And why is that? Yeah? Let me just move out here, guys, so we can. Just pop this here. So, guys, why, why is it that disruption always follows intention? Why is it every time when you have a good game, the next game may be. You're not doing that 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 well. Why is it just when you thought that your team is improving, one player you know comes uh, late or he comes drunk to a training? Or why is that? Because you cannot escape fact, a law of nature. Disruption always follows intention, and why that is created and, and ordained by God to test whether our intention is as strong as what we think it is. Because if we want to become the footballer or the coach or the parent or the person for whom that role is, that role which you want for your son, if your son wants to become a professional football player, if that is what your son wants to become, then it would be good for him to go through a journey that tests whether his intention is as strong as what he thinks it is, right? That's why a disruption always follows intention. And that's why framing facts with a positive frame sends you down a road that can lead you to your next level. Yeah? So why that is powerful, guys, and I'll close with, with, with this. Because if you weren't here in, in, in a session one, we spoke about be, do, and have. The starting point of everything is the person you are and the person you are becoming. Now, we all want, yes, like, like I've said, we all want to have, but we need to understand in order to have there are certain actions that have to be done. But more importantly, in order to do those, we have to constantly, note, constantly becoming the person for whom that role is intended for. So disruption following intention is part of God's plan for you. But you have a choice. You can choose it or you want. Yeah, you can choose a negative frame which sends you further away from where you are intended to be, or you can choose a positive frame that you know takes you exactly to where you are intended to be according to the gift you know given to you. Because each of us have been given a gift. Now in the football space, each of us have been given a gift too. Some have been given a gift of being an excellent you know football player, a midfielder, a winger, you know. 
uh, a left back. Some of us have been given the gift of being a teacher, a coach. Some of us have been given the gift of being a parent, yeah? Yeah, a support. But in order to excel in your gift, you need to go through a journey that shapes you. Not shapes those that you may be playing with, or shapes my team, shapes you to become the person for whom that role is intended for, according to the gifts being given to you. Okay? Good guys. So, guys, choose to frame your facts with a positive and focus. It builds faith. It gives you anticipation. And anticipation gives you the power to kick into action. Alright? I hope that this has blessed you. As always, guys, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And take care. Keep up. Hey, it's Nathan here. So what is the next level challenge? The next level challenge is all about you tapping into the untapped potential of yourself as a football player, as a coach, as a player. Because we don't know everything, guys. I've been a footballer for 20 years and I still don't know everything. I've been a coach for a fraction of that time and I still don't know everything. I've been a parent for an even shorter time and I need to learn a lot more. So growth is a journey best shared. The next level challenge is designed to help you get to your next level and to more importantly provide quality to those that you either coach or you your parent, yeah, or you as a football player. Because growth is a journey best shared. And the more you know, the more you can grow. Okay.